morning, welcome. Hope you had a good Christmas. I'm here this morning, just outside Dudley, here at the Black Country Living Museum. It's a uh, living museum based on 1940s, 50s and 60s. Come with me, let's go have a look inside, shall we? Come on. So what we're on today, we've got some underground mine tours. We might get a school lesson. Cinema, a boat duck tour. And the Workers Institute tour is not on. There's lots of things to get places to eat here as well, apparently, look. I'm not sure what I'm going to eat yet because I'm not hungry, but we've got a good choice. So that's the engine that used to turn that, it used to bring the buckets of coal up from underground. Luckily, our houses are a thing of the past. Can't imagine that in the middle of winter. Whew. Good morning. morning. You okay? I'm good, thank you. You, sir? Yeah, not too bad. Good Christmas? Well, it was peaceful. Good. Well, Joe didn't come and bomb us to bits last night, so we're, uh, we're a bit thankful for that. But uh, no day he'll turn up tonight, so... Uh, oh, hopefully not. Uh, hopefully it's another peaceful night. Well, I can't really trust that damn Kaiser, can you? So you never, you never know. <laughs> away from the Webley of 1968. Two teams have come a long, long way indeed and they've been to Bath, 
Because we're trying to do it as a one way system, yeah. 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 sort of easy oh, ways. Yeah. 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 The other side, folks, and then you can walk. So you go in that side and then you go up the stairs oh, and across okay. and down. Oh. Right. Are you local? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why do you support Man City then? No. Hey, <laughs> I'll have a word with you when you come down. Let's have a look in radio, pianos, televisions and stations, shall we? We do have a new TV. <laughs> Bromage Building Society apparently. So have a look, see if we can get a loan from the bank teller, shall we? I don't know if anyone's here. Seems quite out front. Are they sat round back? Let's have a look. So the back of the bank. See if you can get your mortgage. It's cool, isn't it? Oh, I got the butchers. Marsh and Baxter. Hot food available. Let's go in, shall we? Have a look, see what we got available. Hello. Morning, mate. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, good, thank you. It smells nice. Get a haircut, shall I? Barbers. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hi. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Could do with a haircut. <laughs> Welcome to Laurie Thomas. Laurie Thomas. And what what time era are we in here? 1956. 56. Is when it was set, but this barber's was actually originally opened in 1904. Wow. Um, in its original location, which was Bird, near Bird Tree on a road called Tuvidale Road. Um, so I'm not, I don't know where that is, I'm not Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not far from here. Um, but the grandfather. There are records that Permanent Solution was brought in 1941 um, or 1947. Uh, and we had uh, an older lady come in and say that she swears down that she had a perm done in the front. Um, because she can remember having it done in the front room. But obviously, there. The what bank wasn't open until 1956, so she must have had it done amongst the men. Um, but she did, she was only 15, so. Good morning. Good morning. Plenty of sweets. <laughs> How was your Christmas? It, it was very good, thank you. So I just got distracted by the retro chocolate bar wrappers here. Right. <laughs> Look at the size of the bounty. Yeah, bounties are stronger business there, haven't they? 
Yeah. Well, there, look. You can't see the difference between the 1959 chocolates and the modern day ones. They can see how. Ooh. <laughs> Remember the ducks. Oh, the Everybody ducks. used to have the ducks. Yeah. Ah, these are pretty retro now, aren't they? Especially ones that look like this. Anyone remember these? I don't, before my time. The post office is shut today, by the looks of things. That's a pleasant surprise for me. Anyone who follows my channel knows I love a fair. Some beautiful lorries, look at them. Carriages, that's stunning. And we got some modern amusements. Knock the cans off. Some beautiful artwork, you don't get it like this nowadays, do you? So how much are we talking for rides and things anyway? £2.50 each, that's not too bad to be fair. Half mile to Dudley, 2,509 miles to the North Pole. I recognise this. Super Sonic Jacks, what this cars? What's this cars? Not sure. Seen that before though. That's beautiful. It's just the quality of artwork on things like this I like. I mean, look at this. It's the detailing that you don't get so much on the modern rides. <laughs> Not seen this before. Everything's a bit wet and dank. I'm not going to be sitting on a I myself so I won't be having to go. Got the shooting alley over here, look, the shooting saloon. That's lovely. Stunning. Look at that. And then over here we've also got the super mighty striker. Test your strength. <laughs> I've never done one of them. If I come back here later, I might have a go at that. I'll film it if I do. Yeah, that's cool. I like this little fair. Didn't know that was here. Yeah, let's go and have a look in a uh, old school school. <laughs> old school school. <laughs> no. This was St James's CME Gifford School, established in 1842. Once upon a time. So authentic looking. I mean, I'm just wandering around outside here, and it does feel like you've stepped back in time. They're still, we're in the Crimbo Limbo period here, so when I'm filming this vlog. So they've still got their Christmas decorations and their Christmas celebrations up, if you're wondering. I mean, just look at this scene here. And then I'll spin you around. Look, we've got the old style tree here. It goes down. Yeah, look at that for a, a nostalgic scene. Let's go have a look at what motorbox we've got for sale, shall we? I'm in the market for a new AJ's. Good morning.
Who is this? That's pre these and sunny, so let's have a little poke ahead in the door here, shall we? So it's like a news, I don't know, just some cigarettes, some. We got over I can't see yesterday, I mean. Yeah, it's a cigarette shop, I think. It's a tobacconist. A tobacconist, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, of course, let they weigh it all out. Now look, old pub, Elephant and Castle. I look for the window. Look at that. So some cakes. Yeah. Any cookout today? Cambridge. Cambridge. Little bit of a way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you travel up today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You popping over tonight? Oh, no, no, just driving. Just, just driving. <laughs> We've just come just to come and see you guys. <laughs> yeah. Now, crimbo limbo thing was boring us. We needed to get out of the house yeah, and do something a bit different. Nice, just to, like, yeah, it's a difficult time, is it, between Christmas? Got the sweet shop. What have we got here? Lots of old school, old school sweets. The other half's got in. Should we go in and have a look? What have we got? Little bell. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, my darling. Surprise, Smells sweet in it as well. What were my favourite pear drops? Well. It's just cool. It's just those are cool old things. Let's have a look in Emmy Do's chemist and drug store, shall we? What we got? What we got in here? Exactly. Hello, Ch guys. Chimney sweep to clear these elements, look. Absolutely, yeah. And I don't suppose you're any, really like, you know, five year olds that want to come be my apprentice, do you? Oh, uh, not yet. Yeah. Mine's only three, yeah. but in uh, a year or two. Two years, two years. Two years. You can find me, okay? <laughs> You're a bit too tall for me to be big. <laughs> Thank you. You could do it, to be fair. Oh, yeah, I, I would fit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was we in here, look? Look at all these. This is cool. I like this. They used to call them chemists and druggists. Chemists and druggists. Yeah. So that's come on away, isn't it? I'm guessing this is a look an album of the 20s. Well, the wooden horse, Kitchen. The wooden horse down there. Let, we'll have a quick look at the the lounge here. Area. Different, isn't it? Yeah, so each building we've come in here has a, I'll put a bit of history in text as I'm, I'm putting up, but each building is either a replica of an exact building that was somewhere in the local area. Is that in the or it is the original building that they took down. You know that horse and cart going by, it's different, isn't it? They took down and moved to this location. And this particular setting set in 1910, as my partner was pointing out to me. The Queen, obviously set before 1901. Blessed are the pure of heart, apparently. They're taking a bit of shelter here underneath. The weather's took a turn for the worst. It's raining quite hard. Next to the canal, here we are. Probably got some entertainment. Chain makers doing this thing, making chains. Which is just cool. Look, got the coals burning. Blacksmith oh, doing her thing. So, I'm not, I'm not as good as those nail makers who are making nails from the ages of 80 onwards. Yeah, who 
work and foundry is cool, isn't it? They made traps for all shapes and sizes of animals here, from rats and mice, all the way up to that round one, which is a bear trap. I think it comes to North America mainly for the fur trap. And a merch shop, and I forgot to mention when I was wandering around, there's quite a famous TV program. Did quite a lot of scenes from here. Obviously, it's set in the same time period, so they have some of the merch from said show. Yeah, so if you're a fan, it's not a bad place to visit. We're talking for mugs. Eleven pound there. It's about right, I suppose. Expensive for a mug, but you know. It's a locally produced rum, vodka, some black country ales. Yes, yeah, so we got some enamel cookery stuff. Yeah, it's quite a cool little gift shop. Not a locally brewed lagers, look. And like I say, still got their Christmas thing going on, so some pretty decorations there, isn't there? What are we talking? Let's have a look at one of these baubles, for example. £4, three ninety five, six ninety five, three forty five for this one here. It's not a bad price, is it? Yeah. It's a nice, large, modern... Souvenir shop, I like that. So yeah, heading back out to the car park now. Little walk up this hill here. And the car park's over here. As you can see it's quite busy. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. What did you think? Is it somewhere you think you would come and visit? I enjoyed it. We spent about three hours. Like I say, I put the prices at the start, but you're £22.95 per person this time of year. It was worth it. Quite a lot of member of staff, really informative. I enjoyed it. Like I say, thank you for watching. If you're still here, please like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. I'll put this little stat up here, look. As you can see, not many people subscribe. So it'd be nice if you could. Thank you very much. Anyway, thank you all for joining. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, P.S. £3.50 car car again. Well, I'll let you know. Love you all. Laters.